Iceman here. What's going on? So, this video is going to be about the Scion. Or the Skyon, or whatever the hell you call her. Wamun. So, we're going to see what this Wamun can do. And let me know your thoughts on the matter. I've heard that she's like a more complex character. And you start off in this game washed up like a hog on the beach. And I thought I would enjoy this character. People have recommended her to Iceman. Saying, Iceman, I think you'd like the Scion character. But I'm going to skip this part. This game is so fucked up, man. Now, I did actually try out this skill with her already. And this one's pretty interesting. Because she throws this blade, see? And it comes back to her like a freaking boomerang. And it can penetrate multiple enemies. So if you line them up, you can kind of uh, do some work with it there. And I thought maybe I'd play as the Scion for the upcoming expansion, Betrayal. Or whatever the hell you call that. Patch or something. But I don't know, man. I mean, she's complicated as fuck. Look at this. Look at all these options you get from the get-go on the skill tree. With other characters, from what I've seen, it's like two options, you know. But her, you can go attack speed and dex. You can go spell, intelligence. You can go strength. You can go melee damage. What the hell? What is her specialty? Is she just really made to be a freaking jack of all trades? Let me know in the comments. I don't get this shit, man. Can she do like everything? I mean, can she use a bow and use all the bow skills and stuff? But how would she be better than, say, the archer chick? I forgot what her class is called. The ranger, I think, you know? So what does the scion perform at the best? Onslaught support. So you get these little support gems. The furthest I've gotten in this game is Act 3 with my ranger. And... I just, it's, it's hard to keep playing when I know that the uh, expansion is going to be coming out, you know, in less than a week. So, I just really haven't been interested. Oh, here we go. Normal item to a magic item. Look at that hog. One mana gained on kill. Damn, that's a hog. But the Scion, I mean, the problem is, you know, I think she looks pretty nice with the... Uh, her starting attire. Now, I'm not familiar with this game to the point of knowing like character models and endgame shit. Like, are you able to customize the look of their gear for endgame? Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys know because when I played her just a minute ago, I actually found some helmet and I slapped it on. And it just really takes away from her aesthetic, you know what I mean? When you have that big bulky helmet on her. So I thought it looked pretty dumb. And end game, ideally, I'd, I feel like I'd uh, wanted to have like a circlet or some shit, you know? Or you can see the hair and all that. But let me know if uh, the visuals of your character and their gear, if it's customizable, like it is in Diablo 3, for example. Not that I play much Diablo 3, the game sucks, but... Oh, I just found a hog of a bow. See, I found a bow with her now. Is she decent with the bow? <gasps> She's finding the green weapons just like... Uh, or the green gems just like what the ranger finds at the beginning. So, I don't know. But to my understanding, somebody in town here actually gives another gem. So let's go take a look at what this gem is for her. Because I haven't ventured any further than this with her. I think this guy? Or is it her? I thought somebody gives you a gem. Okay, right here. Split arrow? Look at all these options. Lightning tendrils is for the witch. Molten Strike, a 
attack a target with physical and fire damage. I haven't tried that before. See, I've tried split arrow with the ranger. And I've tried lightning tendrils with the witch. And uh, she just releases like lightning from her fingers and shit. And it's kind of short range. But it just attacks everything in front of you. Molten strike. Yeah, we'll try molten strike. We'll see what that does. Dude, the cyan just seems to be so bloody overwhelming with all this whacked out shit. How's one supposed to begin, you know what I mean? But maybe, I mean, I, I assume you're supposed to specialize in something. Like you go for spells with her, or you go for strength stuff. But if you go for strength stuff, how does she compare to like the Marauder? Or, or the other characters that utilize melee? Oh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. So it shoots little molten balls out. Not bad, brah. But are you guys having that issue right now? I, I don't want to invest too much more into this game before Betrayal comes out. And I don't really want to burn myself out or get too invested in a character just to quit in like a week. But yeah, I haven't even tried the other characters outside of the Witch and the Marauder. So I'll probably do some first impressions on them as well. Uh, I actually really enjoyed the Marauder just a minute ago. I just tried like two of his skills. And I thought they were GG. So I'm thinking I might go Marauder. Improves the quality of an armor. I might go Marauder uh, for the upcoming expansion. Let's see what this does to the armor. 34. Evasion rating now has 35. Huh. Piece of shit. Leveling up my gems. That's an alright skill. Like here, for example. What would you guys invest in? Attack speed and dex. That sounds pretty good. But of course, you could be like the witch, right? And go about with a spell. But if you do that, how does the Scion compare to the Witch? This is just fucking crazy, man. All the uh, options, the customization in here. But it's pretty epic. I guess I'll put one in Attack Speed and Dex. Alright. But there you have it. The freaking Scion. Like I said, I would like to play as her upon this new expansion and when it releases on December 7. But I feel like it's going to be more smooth sailing if I go with the Marauder. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. I like this damn video. And I'd like to uh, shout out my freaking patrons. Uh, thank you for supporting me, my hombres. And if you would like to become a patron, click the link in the description below. Peace be with ye.